Hi there, everyone. Welcome to The Walking Dead. Um, we just finished the first game, basically, but there is a DLC. After episode 5, No Time Left, there's the special episode 400 Days. Now, from this point on, I have absolutely no idea what's gonna happen. With, like, The Walking Dead, I knew a bit of the storyline, as in, like, the, the, the biggest part, um, without spoilers. As in, like, those five episodes are that one game, and it was supposed to be that one game, I think. But that might have also been just a random thing that I ever heard. But 400 Days is something completely separate from the main storyline. It's like a separate spin-off game, but inside of the first game. Yeah, I'm not sure how it works exactly, but we're just gonna play it. I don't even know how long this is gonna take. If this is like a one hour little game or if it's like an eight hour game, I have no idea. So, you know, there's only one way to find out. Pit stop. Pre apocalypse? Yeah, it has to be. Man, that's grim. Basically putting your family and friends photos on the board because if you get killed, you know, your corpse might get burned or, you know, you're just wandering around as a walker. Whereas if you put your picture up on the board, it'll always be there. But it's also very standing still, so I think, yes, we do have control now. Oh god, it seems to be like a choose-your-own-story type. As in, like, 400 Days is the overarching game, but in the game there's five storylines. I think that's the case right now. So let's just go in a circle, which seems like the most reasonable thing to do, so starting with Vince. I guess. Damn it. I told you. I already told you it wasn't me, man. Man, come on. I told you like like 20 times. I don't even I don't even know you, bro. on the roof. Oh, fuck. Ah, <laughs> oh, we still got caught. Two days in. Oh, and we're going to follow their story, all of them, for like 400 days, probably. Come on, man. You don't listen to this crap anymore. Two hours. Think it'll clear up soon? What am I, the traffic man? I'm supposed to have been at the pen an hour ago. I'm gonna get written up for this. Oh, relax. It's not your fault. Man, they can't keep us cooped up in this heat like this. Two fucking hours. Get pretty tired of your complaining ass, man. The heat's starting to get to these guys. 
What the hell, man? What? You know. Cut it out. Jesus, you guys. You gonna make me? Yeah. Hey, Vince! Justin's gonna make me! It's too hot for this shit. Vince! I'm making him hot now! Yeah, Danny, you're making me hot. Settle down, assholes. He started it. Hey, man. How about you open a fucking window? It's a prison bus, asshole. The windows hey, don't... Hey, Justin, see that right, guy man. in the beat-up truck? Ain't right. I'll bet Shut he lives in that there. truck now. You probably got his whole house. Life savings. Shit, I bet you stole his dog. You steal his dog, man? I wasn't stealing from guys like that. Anyway, better than stealing his virginity. Hey, how many times I gotta tell you? Here we go. Seriously, I was falsely accused. How old was she, 15? Damn it, it ain't like that. You telling me there wasn't a star witness waiting around in your white van? I'm shocked. We're all in the same boat here. What's the point of arguing? The point is, I'm not like that. My lawyer's gonna be here. Tell about you what, this. guys. I ain't afraid to say it. I'm really this. missing my girlfriend right now. I'm, I'm guessing she's pretty pissed nerd, at you. Man. It's I worse than that, man. She won't talk to me. Mouth. Haven't heard her voice in months. Really messing with me, like for real. Just let it go, man. I want to, but you know. I love her, man. You should call her up when we get there. You gotta face that shit. You know, you're right, man. First call I get. Danny, I know you don't realize this because you're you, but you probably ruined that poor girl's life, you piece of shit. Big talk from White Collar back there. How many lives you wrecked, kid? Who cares? Hotter than hell up in here. I'm getting dehydrated. Hey, how about some water back here? Shut I up. I thought you back took the there. stand and cried your eyes out. I'm telling you again. Didn't you lose your yeah, shit and tell them you didn't know what you were up, doing? Or I'll set you I up. lied. Turns out I'm good at that. You lied on the stand? See, that's the kind of shit I could never do. Religious? No, nah, man. Watch a lot of cop shows? Nope. What then? It just ain't right. Oh, give me a break. It's a tough call. Why do more time than you need to? Gotta stay clean, man. Says the criminal. You wanna know the funny thing? I don't regret any of it. I carried my victims for years. They knew what they were getting into. And now here I am, and there they are. And Wall Street assholes pulling the same scores are smiling on TV. Fuck that. How did it all work, anyway? It was like, a uh, a pyramid scheme. Aren't those kinda... shit? It was a really good pyramid scheme. Good shit is still shit. How'd you live with yourself? Easy. I didn't think about it. How much did you make off with, anyway? Enough. So, like, a couple hundred K? A little over a hundred. Million. God damn, boy! Ho oh, ho! When we get out of here, you, me, and Vince, we gotta go into business, know what I'm saying? You know, I don't actually know a thing about you, Vince. Maybe he's a priest. Yeah, Father Vincent. I bet he touched a kid. Two kids? You touch a couple kids, Vince? I helped my little brother. They send you to prison for that now? He was in trouble. I had to help him out. I knew it was something stupid. You regret it, man? If you're saying what I think you are, I got respect for you, man. But that's a hard thing to carry, you know? Doesn't really matter. What's done is done. I hear you. How'd they get you? Tossed the gun up on a roof. And? It was a good throw, and a roofer found it the next day. You gotta be kidding me. Man, you're bad luck, Vince. Bad luck, Vince! <laughs> That's not bad. What do you think, Justin? What the fuck are you gonna do about fuck it? you! Fuck me? <laughs> fuck you, motherfucker! Oh, shit! Oh, man. Christ! What the hell is going on? Crabtree, right knock it off! Hey, let him go, man! Damn it, Crabtree! Don't make me come back! He's now. gonna kill him, Vince! Let the guard handle it, guys. Fuck that! We gotta get in there! You do not want to get in the middle of that shit, Danny. We can't Vince, even get in there. We gotta do something. You know this ain't right. I'm not doing any more time to save some stupid ass. Where's your empathy, man? You can't do anything with these damn chains on! Shit! Crabtree, I'm warning you one He's last not listening, time, goddammit! You gotta get, well, you get in, get in there! Get in there and break that shit Come up, on, man. man! Come on, boy! Get back there! Okay, asshole. Let him go! Get in between them, goddammit! He's gonna kill that boy. Crabtree? 
Last what warning! <gasps> Knock him out! Go, goddammit! What the fuck was that? Fuck. Jesus. What happened? What did you do, boy? God damn it, boy! Answer damn. me back there! That guy's damn. still alive! Get those cuffs off him, man! What the hell was that? He... he made a move on me! I... I... I don't know! The asshole had it coming. How did he have this coming? He's, uh... Fucking fuck! You gotta call someone, man! What? I'm calling this in. Don't. Don't call it in yet. Just... just wait, okay? Just give me a damn minute! Dispatch, come in. This ain't our problem, Danny. I just need a minute! I need a minute to think. You ain't got a minute! Shut up, you hear me? Just shut your mouth! Okay, okay. Calm down. Take it easy. Everybody needs to calm the fuck down. Situation's bad enough as it is. He's right. Let's all just take it down a notch, okay? You really want to pull that trigger again, son? Thanks, man. <laughs> And there's the Walkers. I saw it. Yeah. Hey, you gotta get us the hell out of here. You're not going anywhere. Fuck that. Get this bus moving. Hey, driver. I said let's go, we're man. We're staying right here. We're safe inside the bus. Nothing's gonna. Oh, oh shit. Oh ho. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, that checks hey. out. Hey, you need to call someone. You hear me? We need to. <laughs> Just bail on us? Oh, Jesus. Get the keys from the, the dude. Hell, man? Back up, back up. Fuck! 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 He oh, he's gonna you. tear his leg. Sure about that? that ankle's gonna get him. Shit. What are we doing, guys? Come on! We gotta do something! Find a weapon. What kind of weapon? Where's the guard's gun? Yeah, yeah, the gun. Good thinking, Justin. Where the fuck is it? I think he fell on it. It's underneath him. Oh, fuck me. Ooh, here we go. Get the gun, man. Get up, Vince. Hurry up. Shoot this asshole, Vince. Do it. There we go. Oh, watch it, man. Sorry. Sorry. Man, Get the I can't believe this shit. Can you believe this shit, man? No. We gotta find some way to get out of here. Get the keys. God damn it. Wait, the guard's gonna turn, isn't he? What are you doing? Can't do anything until we get out of these damn chains. Maybe he's got the keys on him. Nothing. Well, shit, if the keys aren't on him, then where the hell are they? He must have left them up front. What? Maybe we finally caught a break. Danny, hey, don't. Hey, buddy! What oh. The fuck? God Did that happen it, just... Danny, you what? You always put your fucking foot in you, man. You gotta get out of here before any more of them show up. <laughs> Never mind. That's not gonna hold. Vince, fire the fucking gun! Yeah, okay. Whoa, whoa, watch it. Ain't gonna work. No? Uh, it was worth a shot. How the fuck are we gonna get out of this then? Point. Take out the windows! Oh my god. I think god. you just pissed them off. Yeah, yeah, save the shells. How the hell are we gonna get out There's of here? There's gotta be a way. Can't we just shoot off the chains? No way. Wouldn't cut through. What about the cup? If we shoot one of those off, the chain will slip right out. Are you fucking insane? 
What do you think is gonna happen if you fire a shotgun that close to someone's house? Well, what do you think's gonna happen if we don't get the fuck out of here? Vince, give me the gun! We gotta do this! No, Back no, no. off! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Vince! What the fuck? I'm sorry, Danny. I'm sorry, man. Fuck you! Do it! Hurry! I'm Justin's sorry. Justin's just gonna slow you down. Ah! Oh, fuck. Do it again! Ah! Ah! Oh. Come on, let's oh, go! Oh, fuck, that's his entire foot. Wait, we're leaving him behind as well? Complete Fence's chapter. Wait. That was it? That was his entire... Oh, okay, well, then we can do all of them in a relatively short time, I reckon. Yeah, shell. So this is at least in the apocalypse. Two hundred and thirty-six days in. Hey, Shell, your sister's getting pretty good, huh? Becca had a good teacher, Steph. Thank you for doing that. She needs something to focus on besides, you know, everything else. Yeah. Growing up in a world like this, what do you think that does to a kid? She's already changing. She dismisses things she cares about so easily. I guess you kind of have to when you've already lost so much, but I still worry. Becca's a good kid. These are shit times, and she's gonna go through that. But if we can keep her from experiencing some of the shit I've seen... Thanks, Stephanie. Thanks. Yeah, that was great. Thanks, sis. You think we can do something like this every week? If Roman approves it, I don't see why not. It seems like fun. That was amazing, Becca. We could all use a little more music in our lives. Did I ever tell you that I used to play in a band? Yes, Roman, you've told us. She doesn't want to hear about it again. All right, all right. In that case, let's get back to work. Wait, is this the diner? Oh, thanks to Boyd's hard work on the vegetable garden, we're having fresh soup tonight. Okay, let's get to it. You want to help me and Shell do the supply inspection? Cool. You check the flashlights this time. I'll look over the guns. Uh, no, I don't think so. You just make sure those flashlights are all working. We don't want anyone getting stuck in the dark. Yeah, that would suck. Shell, when you get a sec, meet me out back. Help me feed the watchdogs. Sure thing. So this is the diner. Eesh, these knives are looking pretty ragged. Don't worry, they're on our list. Huh. So, I guess all stories will eventually have a connection with the diner itself. How are we doing on ammo? Better than we thought. We haven't had to use these for a while. You guys need help? Nah, we got this. Right, Becca? You go ahead and help Roman out back. Seems that we're doing pretty well. Huh. Still one short. We never found the other flashlight? Nope. Still in the cornfield somewhere, I guess. What did Roman want? I don't know yet. Are you gonna find out? Yeah, in a sec. <laughs> the diner looked pretty nice back then. That's because they used to pay people to clean it. Also, not as many dead visitors back then. Very true. Man. I hate this, like, 
end of the world shit. Not like hated, but like just the entire realization. Looks weird of... in here without the paintings. Well, Boyd wanted something to paint his own pictures on. I guess it'll be a personal gallery in here when he's done. It's the entire realization of how badly the world can go to shit, and how li how little control we have over the world. Oof. This looks like an average place, average kitchen, fire extinguisher. <gasps> the vegetable soup! Stir that shit. Smells good. So we have gas? That's great. Wonder for how long we'll have that. You know, it's it's nice to, you know, have a place to live, but within no time things Glad are going to go to shit. Water before it ran out. Me. He's hungry. Guess he knows it's feeding time. Wait, is that the dude from the bus? I feel bad for it. Yeah, well, at least we found a way for him to be useful. You know, uh, your sister said she wouldn't mind doing this. Roman, we've talked about this. Becca doesn't need to deal with this kind of thing. Listen, I know you think that giving her an easy life is what's best, but it's really not. Okay, Chuck. This is far from an easy life, Roman. You know what I mean. She needs to know the sacrifices we have to make to survive in this world. As long as she knows how to protect herself, it's fine. I don't want her to stop caring about people. Okay. What's that one eating? I don't know. I'll check it out. I gotta get back out front. Looking forward to that soup. That soup's gonna be great. I think that actually is the dude from the bus. Eesh. Just make sure we go around it in a neat area. This is actually pretty walled up. It's pretty good. What are they eating? Oh, God. <laughs> what? What is that? Ugh. Is that a puppy? 236 days in? Nah, that has to be a rabbit or something, right? There's no way that's a puppy. Oh my god. <laughs> These fucking eating sounds. Imagine having to voice act that. <laughs> At least he's enjoying himself. <laughs> oh, Jesus, don't ever fucking do that again! Whoa! What's your problem? I do this all the time. You don't get all pissed off. I'm sorry. It's... It's just the watchdogs. I guess they found a, a puppy. A puppy? Yeah. I guess it just got to me you know it was it was so little it actually was a puppy you don't think about babies anymore but after a while you just kind of accept this is it yeah i guess you kind of forget <laughs> right but then you know there it is you see it and you want to protect it and and now it's gone that sucks Maybe if Clive dies next, we can put him out there instead. He'd make a better watchdog anyway. Don't say that. Becca. Shell! Becca! Something's going on outside! What is it? I don't know. Something bad. We gotta find Roman. The soup! Come here, everyone! Shit! Come on, we gotta find Roman. This month, if so can be there. Jesus. Largum. La My God. La Largum. What did you do? All I did was put on the blindfold and bind his wrists. Somebody else beat him up. 
He already had the cuts and bruises. Watchdogs caught him trying to steal supplies. Is he bitten? No. They didn't get that close. What did he take? Food, medicine, whatever he could get his hands on. Usual stuff. I couldn't get any other information out of him. I don't think he speaks English. I can't believe he just snuck it's in. the second break-in we've had in the last couple of weeks. Last time we couldn't catch him. And they got away with more medicine than we could afford to lose. Well, we all know what it's like trying to survive out there. He just came in here for food. Let's just give him some and send him on his what way. What if there are more of them? He could have been scouting. That's right. He could be part of a larger group. If there were more, I think we would have seen them by now. I mean, nobody travels alone by choice anymore, right? We can't just let him go. It's too dangerous. Who knows if he has friends waiting to attack? Don't you think we would have seen someone by now? At least trying to negotiate to get him back. You have a point. I don't know. Well, he's not staying here. You let in a stranger and everything starts breaking down. The last time we did that, we lost Bree. And then Vernon with that goddamn boat. Hold up. Vernon and the boat are the reason the group fell apart. Not trusting strangers. Vernon was out for the boat the whole time. And the second they left that boat unattended, we just stole it. Hold up. That's when our group fell apart. He can't stay here. You are those people? I agree. Keeping him here is not an option. In his condition, he'd be a drain on our resources. Look, we all know what we're yeah. talking about here, so let's stop dancing around it. We either let this guy go and take our chances, or we kill him. Jesus Christ! Are you serious? Roman's right. It's gotta be one or the other. We're letting him go. It's the only right thing to do. I'm telling you, we can't do that. But killing him? Is that really the answer? Stephanie, Boyd, you two don't think we should kill him. We know where Joyce and Clive stand on the subject. You're the swing vote here, Shell. What's it gonna be? Oh, God, I hate this. <sighs> we have to set him free. We can't. He's not even armed. We can't just kill him. This isn't in self-defense. Isn't it, though? If it means he can't come back to hurt us? That isn't the same thing. But last time... Joyce, that was a long time ago. If we kill this man, then we're giving up a part of ourselves that we can never get back. I'm not ready to let that go. Cut him free. I hope you guys know what you're doing. Oh, what do Give him have? some food. When, three or four cans. Just as a gesture of good faith. And get him out of here. I don't know if you can understand a word I'm saying. But you better understand this. You came this close to death today. And if you ever, ever come near this place again. Or tell anybody where we are. You wish you had died today. Fuck Vernon. 259 days in. Hold up, that's like six. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Do you have any fours? No, 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 no. Don't be a siege. Nope. Do you have any sevens? Yep. I miss playing guitar for everyone. It was stupid, but. Fun. Why don't we do that anymore? Since the attack, there's a lot we don't do anymore. I shouldn't have let that guy go. Fuck. Boyd would still be alive and everything would be the same. Boyd agreed it was the right thing to do. Anyway, Roman's obsessed with keeping this place secured now. You know that's impossible, right? Well, after last time, Roman isn't taking any chances. Then he should fix the loose board behind the storage lots. Becca! Are you sneaking out again? Did anyone see you leave? No, no one saw me. 
You've got to stop doing that. You're going to get us both in a lot of trouble. I don't see why it's such a big deal. We had another break-in just last month. Uh, Becca, you know what it means if someone were to see you and follow you back here. No one is following me. There's no one else out there. Shell, I need to talk to you. It's open. What's going on? Hey, Becca. Hey. When you uh, get a sec, I need you to come out and talk to me. It's important. Okay. I'll be outside. You'll see me. We can talk here. No. Just finish up here and come find me. And don't take too long. What was that all about? I don't know. Probably not good, though. Stay here. It'll be just a minute. I'll fill you in when I get back. That can't be good. <sighs> so there was an attack because of that person we let go. How come no one's watering these? Or at least I think so. Maybe it was a completely separate group, you know? I don't know if we know 100% for sure it was that group, that person. Oh, he's never finishing his painting now. Man. That's the tough part about, you know, these kind of post-apocalyptic things. Like, we should have killed him. For safety and security of our group, we should have killed him. But Jesus Christ, that's a choice that... Oh... Joyce, do you know what's going on? I don't know if I should say anything. Please, what is it? They caught Stephanie stealing and then trying to escape. Oh my god. What are they gonna do? I don't know. What can we do? I'll go talk to Roman. We'll figure it out. That's not good. <sighs> so we're not at the diner anymore? We're now at the market? I guess. Roman? Good, you're here. I heard about Stephanie. I'm sorry. What are you gonna do? You know what we do. What happened? We caught her trying to escape. Well, so what, Roman? Ever since the incident this hasn't been an easy place to live in if she doesn't want to stay let her take her chances out there well a she had most of our seeds medicine and ammo with her and b you know we can't let anyone leave who knows where we are she screwed us shell all of us and now we're in that position again where we can't keep her here and we can't let her go you do know why i'm telling you this right yeah you want me to take care of it. You and Boyd were the ones who fought to let that guy go. Convinced us all to take that chance. Well, we did. And it was wrong. And now Boyd is dead. We're beyond the luxury of taking chances now. And I need to know that you're with us 100%. But she's one of us. Th this is different. No, she's not. Not anymore. She tried to sneak out and leave us without any medicine or extra ammo. She knew that could mean the death of any one of us. You got your gun? It's in the camper. I'll give you a few minutes to get your head together. God, what do I tell Becca? That's up to you. Whatever you say, I'll back you up. We're getting the fuck out of here. Becca, get ready. Which board was loose? Shell? What's wrong? Am I in trouble? What I'm gonna say is gonna be hard to hear. What is it? It's Stephanie. She stole a bunch of ammo and medicine and tried to escape. Oh my god. What the hell did she do that for? Roman says we have to... Kill her? Yeah. Why would she do this to us? 
because this place isn't safe anymore. After those guys attacked us, even after we let their friend go, this place just hasn't been the same. Of course not. Roman's trying to make it better. Better? No one is happy anymore. We live like prisoners. But it's safe here. I mean, yeah, I want to get away every now and then, but I would never leave. That's crazy. Roman wants me to do it. I'm sorry. Uh, let's just get it over with. Your gun's over there, in the drawer. The fuck is wrong with you? Are you okay? Do you want to talk about it? No, I don't. I just want to get it over with. You know, we don't have to do this. We can just go. What? We've survived on our own before. If we just go, we can be out of here before anyone can do anything about it. Are you crazy? Where would we go? There's nothing out there. As long as we're here, we're safe. The group will protect us. But for how long? I don't know. Longer than we'd survive out there. Besides, you know the rules. If we try to leave, Roman will hunt us down. We don't have a choice. This is who we are now. I don't want this to be who we are. Just let me do it then. No, I'll do it. You shouldn't ever have to do something like this. I just need a second. This really sucks. Yeah, it does. Shell, it's time. Oh, I love choices. <laughs> so basically, every single one of these episodes is going to come down to one big-ass choice, isn't it? Uh... With killing Stephanie, we'll stay with the group, but let's be realistic. The group isn't really a group. It's a small gathering of people, which... Two of them are sick people. Or was it just one? No, it was Boyd person who died god fuck so one of them is a sick elderly person so that's not much used to being protected so i wouldn't say the group is very much of a protection i i want to do a breakout get stephanie and then if the three of us try to make a living outside of this camp but fuck Fuck. If if we drive away, we kill basically that group. And Stephanie's gonna get killed as well. And Roman is gonna get killed by zombies because they don't have enough people to watch over this place anymore. Why do I get the feeling that if we drive away that my own little sister is going to shoot me? No, it's fucking crazy to kill her. We could let her go with a bit of food, send her on our way. She's one of us. It's fucking crazy to kill her. We're getting out of here. What are you doing? Shell? Shell, what the hell? Sit down, get safe. Shell, hey! <laughs> Hell no. Do we have a possible saving system? No. Okay, well, Barney.
Okay, got one. A snake for a tongue. You're so bad at this. Would you rather have a snake for a tongue? Awful. Or lobster claws for hands? Bonnie, 220 days in. Can I control this snake, or does it have free reign? Free reign. Well... I'm thinking. Think harder. And how exactly do you think harder? Lobster claws. Weirdo. Think of all the crazy stuff you could grab. All I'm saying is, good luck finding a man if you have lobster hands. Good thing I'm not looking for one, then. Okay. How about... Oh, never mind. I probably ought to stop bugging you with stupid hypotheticals. Oh, come on. You'd be a lot less fun. You've been a lot more fun lately. Feeling better? I guess I am. Well, you sure do look better. Well, uh, you gotta admit anything is an improvement. That came out wrong. Uh, what I mean is... I mean, uh, you were... You were, uh... You know. Take a hike, Big Ears. I resemble that remark. You resemble a satellite. You know, you weren't so damn sassy before. Guess that's a good sign. I mean it, though. After we found you, you were still so hooked on that stuff. Well, I never thought you'd make it. You ain't out of the woods yet, I know, but... Well, you've come a long way, Bonnie. And I'm proud of you. You're a good friend, Leland. I know. Okay, you're not that great. Look, you know I ain't going nowhere, right? As long as we're together, I'll be there for you. You ain't gotta worry. You know that, right? I know. God, Leland. Thank you. Bonnie, I... Leland? Bonnie? D. Hey, honey. I found us something. What are you two up to? Oh! Just chatting. Chatting, huh? What about? Oh, uh, well, um, lobsters. Lobsters? Well, fishing. Figured it'd be worth a shot. For the food, you know. Leland, you hate fishing. That ain't totally true. And how many days you gone fishing? What? I go fishing all the time. Thought you, didn't I? I am a catch. Don't even <laughs> know it. I got you a present. Oh, you shouldn't have. What'd you find? I'll tell you later. I don't mean to interrupt your chat with your uh, girlfriend, but uh, we got to get moving. Girlfriend. So, where'd you get the bag, D? 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 Did you hear me? What's in the bag, D? I told you, it's a surprise. That can't be Hey, good. Dee, when we get back to camp, would you let me borrow some of that nail polish? Sure, hon. You like this color? It's my favorite. And after today, I could use a new coat, you know? Same here. I feel like a drowned rat with these claws. Not to interrupt the girl talk here, but uh, Dee, that, that bag. Look, I found it down the road a piece, all right? Where down the road? Some place off that away. Damn it, Dee, you gotta give us more than that. Did you steal it? What? The Bonnie's right. If you stole that bag, we need to know. You don't gotta make no big deal out of it. You guys sure gang up on me a lot lately. Honey, that ain't true. Tell me one Got a poop. So, we're basically getting grilled by Hillary Clinton. Tom, you sided with me in the last week. The last month! All right. I can't remember one especially, but I know I have. False. This is how all our fights go, every time. Now we're standing here in the woods, soaking through, and for what? Don't you want to get to the camp Hush before dark? I ain't down. the one Come who on stopped. Now. But you are the one who made me stop. Irregardless, we could just as easy carry on like this while we're walking. You're gonna oh, draw every day with that attitude. Miles around attitude. You keep on now like we're this. standing in this goddamn rain, in this. Goddamn middle I know of nowhere you did place. That on purpose. You listen to me now. I have had it up. Leland, that's enough. It's obvious you can't win this one, so why even bother trying? Bonnie, I appreciate you trying to help, but let me handle this, all right? Thank you, Bonnie. Finally, someone makes some damn sense around here. 
Bonnie, darling, I'm I'm sorry we're Darling. D, come on. Save it. I know what side your bread is buttered on. Yours too. D, now's not the time. Whatever issues we got, we'll hash them out later. It's always later. I, I refuse to get in the middle of this. Well, too bad. You already are. I'm sorry. I just want to get somewhere where I can change my clothes, and then you and your girlfriend can... Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, God, run. Come on. We gotta move. What are you talking about? Oh, shit. Okay, so... She did steal it. Ah! Oh, fuck! Ah! Oh, shit. Fuck you, Hillary Clinton! Man, yeah, serpentine! 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 There's no way we're getting out of this. Yeah, we're gonna have to fucking ah. jump. Oh! Whee! Ah. Well, that was her story. Oh shit! Hey, that was the prison buzz! Oh! No! No! Stay away, stay away, stay away! Kick in the face! Oh, I love those kicks. Wait, that was. Oh! Yeah, maybe you should have stayed. Wait! Wait, are those the flashlights from the other group? With Stephanie? Hey! Layla! Through here! Look! That's D dead. Oh, Jesus. Well, I can't move back, so that sucks. Steph, you see something? Steph. Yes, yeah, Stephanie! This is that group! So, just one thing got stolen, but it wasn't like. Oh. Shit. Where are you? So, it wasn't a full on attack. It wasn't a full on attack on us. Or, well, them. On the group. Anything? No! I can't see a damn thing out here! So, probably, Boyd also died. Oh! What? Where did that just come from? <laughs> God damn it. What? Did that just come from? This way! Come on! Because there was no indication there was someone around me. Shit. Where are you? Then someone's gonna come from ahead. I think I saw something over here. Then they're gonna get together. And be like, ah, oh, I can't see shit in this cornfield. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> what? Suddenly out of the blue, it's just red. Immediate danger. Like, what the hell? No, oh, Jesus! <laughs> How did that still scare me? Who? Dev, you see something? Shit! Shit! Where are you? Honestly, I'm just Anybody trying to figure anything? out where I even need to go. Where do I get red things from every time? You see anything?
Anything? No, I can't see a damn thing out here. Oh, we're gonna kill Boyd. Oh, watch over me. Okay, Bonnie. Stay calm. Find a weapon. Wait, what? Huh? Press and hold the left mouse button to grab them. Push the mouse left to right. Yeah. <sighs> okay. That's the first time they did that. That's pretty interesting. I'm sorry, Boyd. Oh! Okay, that's weird. B B Bonnie. Oh! Oh, fuck! D? Oh! Oh! D? I'm so sorry! Oh, I thought it was oh, Boyd! God! Why? You. Why? Do. Do. Do I love you? How bad is it? It was dark. It's so dark. I, I couldn't see you. I, I didn't know it was you. How was I supposed to know it was you? Mm. There, there was no... Mm. I thought I... <clears throat> saw you. You... You did this. Oh, God, you killed me. You, you killed me. <laughs> Anybody see anything? I should it's never... Dark out here. Trusted you. Just... Junkie. <laughs> Even she, she did this to me. I... God, I'm so sorry. So... I can't... Oh, God, God! I knew you'd fuck up again. Take him. I... I... No, God, I'm sorry. I need him. I need you both. You bitch. There you wanted him, didn't you? Thank you. Help the stones. There is something between us, but that don't mean I wanted this, I swear to God. You fucking junkie. Spread out. It can't be far. D. D, did you find her? Honey, I, I thought they got you back there. Jesus, are you shot? Oh, God, what happened? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord, Bonnie, what happened? Oh, my God, Dee. Darling, what happened to you? Your face? Her face, Bonnie. I had to. I, I thought you would... What? what do you mean, Bonnie? What was that you just said? It really was an accident, Leland. It, it really... You did this? You did this to my D? She came out of nowhere. I thought she was one of them. I, I didn't see her until she was right there. I don't... I don't believe this. I don't understand. How did it happen? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Levin. Bonnie. Back this way! Oh, no, I feel sick. Which way? There! I'm sorry to do this to you, darling. Leave you here. Call out if you see this him. way. We can't stay here forever. <laughs> I think I saw something over here. They went this way. Leland, get back here. She's going to die for this thing. I for damn sure ain't leaving it behind. Alright, so to piece that story together... D stole the supplies from Roman's group. 
So... That was one of the break-ins that happened. That wasn't the attack. That was one of the break-ins that they talked about. Like, one month ago we had a break-in. And they stole all kinds of stuff and we couldn't catch them. That was that. So, D stole it from that group for no reason. So, D was a bitch. But that entire situation was kind of fucked. Jesus, man. All those people were, in a way, bad people. Of that specific group, at least. Fuck. And that's where they lost the flashlight. Like, what we talked about when we were playing uh, with Stephanie and the other person. I don't even remember the name. When they were checking up on the supplies and there were only four flashlights. And they said, like, there's only four? We're still missing that one? Yeah, it's still lying in the core field, probably. We never found it. That's that flashlight that Bonnie took. So that's, uh... That's interesting. <laughs> Fuck. Alright, well, <laughs> let's go to Russell. One hundred and eighty-four days in. Russell. He looks like a teenager. I've got like sixty miles left, I think. Ain't shit. He's walking home, it looks like. <sighs> so the picture that we saw on the board was his in like graduation garb. So he probably got graduated, then things went to shit, and now he's walking home. Ugh, 63 miles to go. It's a long way to walk, my man. Ah, I miss the days of taking shortcuts. Hey, you getting up? Good. <laughs> I mean, I guess that kind of works. I, I see something over there and I don't like it. Oh wow, we walked a really long way in between. Should probably hurry. Shit, shit, shit. Oh! Oh, yuck. Fucking gross, man. Reunited, found an old friend. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, fuck you! Oh, I just got a Steam achievement! Reunited! Find an old friend! Right? And it had a picture of Doug and Carly. So that girl that we just dropped next to, that is Carly! Oh, fuck! Oh, no! Oh, it's, he has the coat! I see you cuddling with your girlfriend down there. Shit, bro. I don't want no trouble. Please. You just want to be left alone with your friend down there? No, just leave me alone. Look, I don't care what you do to whatever corpse you find. I wasn't... What's your name? Russell. So you didn't steal that bag. I don't care who you steal from, if you did. Maybe you're in a gang that likes to rob people. I don't know. Are you in a crew? You got some boys wearing hoodies I gotta worry about? Because you steal from me and I'll get your throat out. I don't care who you run around with, you understand? It's mine. I didn't steal it. Alright, good. I don't like thieves. Just get in the car. You're gonna get eaten out here otherwise, and I'm bored. Come on, scoot. I ain't gonna wait forever. Nah, I'm good, thanks. I don't wanna ride. Jesus, don't be so damn sensitive. I said I'm good. Fine. Um, that's already four walkers. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, fine. We'll get in back. Change your mind? Yep. Hell yeah, get in. Let's tear it up. Bye, Carly. Again. It's Nate, by the way. Thanks for asking. You thirsty? Uh. Here you go. I'm straight, thanks. You're not uptight, are you? Is this the fucking apocalypse? This is like nothing. No, I'm just good, all right? All right, all right. You want to tell me about where you come from, at least? You must have been with a crew. Any tailback where you come from? Maybe drop you off and do a double back. <laughs> the fuck, man? Yeah. No uh, tail. Damn. I retract my question. There was a girl <laughs> who I liked, all right? You're arguing semantics, Russ. Give a pal the deets. All right. There was seven of us. I didn't have any family there or nothing. They're all at my grand's down in Statesboro. There was a dad who had a daughter about my age. One guy said he used to be a cop, but nobody really believed him. Then a teacher and his wife. The leader was this guy, Steve. Go back to the daughter. Steve was a bad dude, but everybody was with him, you know? He said seven was the magic number, so we didn't add nobody to the If we found survivors, it was the same every time. He... He... Let it out, Paco. Just... We gonna kill these folks and take their stuff or what? Then bang! They'd be dead. Anyway, I, I couldn't handle that. After weeks of it, I packed my shit up and figured I could make for Grands alone and try to find my family. I slipped out of there. I couldn't live like that. So nobody got down with the daughter then? No, they didn't. <laughs> God damn it. What would you give her? Strong six? Just tell me something about her. How was the rat? Give me a little something. Just a taste. Russ, I'm doing you a service here. I gotta get my beak wet. I'll put it right in here. Sure, whatever. Sure, whatever? Come on. All right, maybe someone who wasn't so near and dear to your heart then. What the fuck? Come on, scale of one to ten. What do you think? Ah, Slamming oh. before she was dropped, right? What do you think? Here, get a look. Oh, what the fuck? Like a nine, right? Get off I knew he was a psycho. Got them Americans. Load that bullets in the glove there. The fuck? And there is the pit stop. But it's not even barricaded. Let's look for some supplies in here. See if we can fill up while we're at it. Don't be mad. Fine, be mad. Just stop being a pussy. Alright. Oh! oh shit! Go! Russ! Get the fuck down, man! You don't want to be there! Get to the truck! I'll cover you! Okay, get ready! Don't stop running! And keep your head down! He does not have my ass. Oh! Oh, fuck, man. Good hustle. What happened to I'll cover you? Look how good you did. Oh, he's a fucking psycho. I shouldn't have come with you. Well, it's too fucking late now. You need to relax, Russell. Come on, kid, look at me. This is no big deal. We got this, okay? Okay. First, we're gonna figure out exactly where this asshole is. 
Just get a quick glance. Get down! He's in the diner. See? Easy. Now we know where he is, we can fucking get him. All right. Yeah. That's the spirit. Let's push this truck for cover. Okay. It's in neutral. Just keep your head down. Ah, hey, we've done this before. Oh, Mark. Oh, arrow Shit. mark. Oh, Just keep pushing! Tasty sausage meat mark. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Oh, he's a good fucking Push. shot. Uh, uh, that's a road. great shot. Fucking hell. What now? We're gonna get around the side of the building. We gotta go from cover to cover. Seriously, this time. I'm not fucking around. Yeah, no problem. Easy as pie. <laughs> Just don't get shot. If we get to that car, we'll be out of the line of fire. Here. You can cover me first. I'm not fucking around. You cover me, then I'll cover you. Or if you want to go first, that's fine too. I'll cover I'll you. Cover. Oh god. You go first. I'm gonna try my best. Shoot at the window and keep that fucker's head down till I get where I'm going. Then throw me the gun, and I'll do the same. Ready? Yeah. You ready, Russ? Cover my ass now. Remember, don't stop shooting. Fire! Throw me the gun, and I'll cover you! Imagine if it gets shot out of the fucking air. Oh, that's a great fucking throw. Go! Come on, man! Good job! Oh. Now, we get over there and we should be good. Go! Oh, fucking hell. Quick, get out of the line of fire. He shouldn't be able to get us here. Nate seems to be a. F you saved my life. Whatever. We got more work to do. He seems to be a relatively good dude. Wait, is he one Let's of those guard dogs? Back. Sneak up on this asshole. Follow me. Man, what are we doing? Well, we gotta get in there. Fucker shot at us. Russell, relax, man. When this is over, we're gonna take what we can, head on down to your grams, and have a big old home cooked meal, alright? Come on. Don't go in. Okay, it's clear. Keep your head down and follow. How many God. days in were we? 100 like it's before 200 so are they not in here yet all right what is we what? Be fucking quiet we're gonna sneak up on this son of a bitch and take him out you hear me not a fucking beep let's go we could grab the fire extinguisher i was already thinking of that i see him check through the window see if there's anyone else That's not even a dude, that's... That looks like an automatic fucking sniper. I think I saw a guy. No shit. Oh no, it is. Grab him. I'll cover you. Do I sneak up? Just jump out and grab him. Your call. Press and hold the left mouse button, then push the mouse forward. Push slowly, sneak up quietly. Oh. Don't fucking move! Walt! Oh! Get the fuck out of here, you monsters! Whoa, Gramps! I told you not to come back here! Think you could just leave your mask at home? And now you're with this fucking spook! First off, watch the fucking racism. This is my boy. Secondly, <laughs> I don't fucking know you. We were just passing by like anyone else. Bullshit! 
You came back to finish us off and take all our food. You've lost your goddamn marbles. She's dying, and now she can see your face. Shut up. She can see who took her from me. We've never been here, sir. Then who shot my wife? Wasn't us. You tried to kill us for no goddamn reason. If anything, we should take you out for that. Please, just get the fuck out of here. Please leave us alone. What do you say, Russ? Should we just kill these folks and take all their stuff? No, oh, what the... F Steve? Are you serious? Maybe. Why not? That's fucked up. There are real fucking monsters out there. No shit. And you're just gonna joke about the shit I see. Fuck you, Nate. I saved your ass. You didn't do shit. Easy, Russ. I'm not hurting no one. And don't you hurt these people either. Come on. Can we still be friends? No. I didn't mean it like that. Oh god. Everyone's so fucked in this world. Jesus. God fucking damn it. Wyatt, please give me a bit of a better story. Well, not better, but like a happier story, please. I'm done with this fucking depressing shit. <laughs> Wyatt, 41 days in. Oh, that's really quick. God, this is so fucked! Why the hell did you shoot that guy, man? What the hell was that? I didn't mean to do it. It just happened, okay? Where the fuck were you with a warning? Me? You're putting that on me now? I didn't see the guy either. I was too worried those dudes were gonna pull guns on us. Shit! Dude, how'd they catch up to us? Who gives a shit? Wait, that's the same just truck! <laughs> Hurry up, Betty! Here, man, shoot! Get him, man! Jesus, Jesus. God, That's up. the same dude from our last story. This dude is fucking fucked up. Fuck! I can't aim from this angle. There we go. Holy shit, man. Did you get him? Are they back there? Wyatt? Dude, are they there I think they're cutting us off. Come on! Quiet talk words at me, man! I don't see anything. Are you sure? Those guys wouldn't just give up. I don't see anything. They're cutting us off. Here, here, I'll turn off. Yeah, go into the swamp, that's a good idea. I fucking hate swamps. Feel that look on me, man. I'm not being an asshole. I'm being smart. No lights, no, uh, you know, they can't see us. Christ, I can taste blood in my mouth. I don't think it's mine. Crashing into a cow ain't gonna help anything, Oh, man. shit! I should watch out for cows. Cows! Why didn't I think of that? When's the last time you saw a cow, dude? Okay, bad example, but you could still hit something, man. God, I can't believe we're in this shit. Don't barf just yet, okay? Please? This road is really straight. We'll be fine. At least slow down. I don't like what? this angle. Fuck no. Did you see that one guy's eyes, man? He's fucking gorked. I don't want that guy in my life, Wyatt. God, how did that go so wrong? Is that some kind of dig at me? No, man. I'm just saying. It's like, I just... Why didn't they say anything? The guy's taking his shit over there. That's all they had to say. I'm sure it was an accident. I'm not. I wish I was, but... Ah! Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Wyatt, all I know is those guys had me all jacked up, like I was on speed or something. I was just on edge, you know? Then I was like watching that guy's brains come out of the back of his head. I'm sorry, man, I... Well, thanks for getting us out, anyway. 
they're gonna cut us off in three, two, one. Oh, that. It's about time. I will punch your eyes. <laughs> See, it's fine. Road straight as my dick. You think we're in the clear? Not till we get out of this fog. Was that a pun? No. When did you start making puns? Was that a pun? No, idiot. What? I know. <laughs> <laughs> I usually get All puns, right, but that one. Tom Cruise out of here. Please never talk again. See if there's still any sticky in the glove box. Any what? I don't see anything. Dude, it's in there. Look harder. I don't see it. What I do see is that ammo that you lost last week. Oh my god, really? But is there any weed? Oh. You know, one time I was going out with this girl, right? Abigail. You remember her? And she told me that when she was five, I think, her dad took her to the circus sideshow. They walked around for a while, saw the chick with two heads, saw a dude with lobster hands, some kind of monkey human with a dick for a face. I don't know. She also said there was a little girl in there the size of an apple, but I called bullshit on that one. Point is, she saw there was this guy standing in there, buck naked, and singing this weird... Are you even listening to me? The guy peed on her dad. Shit! Oh. Ah! Holy shit, dude. Holy shit. Did you get a look? I think that was a guy. Wyatt, come on, man, say something. Was that a dude or not? What the, the fucking fog? No, it, it didn't it's look not, like it's a so human. Fuck, man. It, it didn't look human? Alive? Whatever. Really? Seriously? I mean, seriously? Look me in the eyes and say that. It was a walker. You heard me, Eddie. Let's see if there's anything around the car. You know, anything that'll like tell us one way or the other. That way we can just book. But I'm not leaving if we hit a human being, man. I'm just not. Man, don't roll it down broken. I can't see through the cracks. Look, it's fine, see? Oh, he's gonna get grabbed. Yeah, you're gonna get grabbed. Dude, what's that on the broken side mirror? Does that blood look fresh to you? Yeah, but it's kind of dark. Yeah. Damn. You think that blood on the windshield is fresh or rotten? Rotten. 100%. Can I grab the... No. What's that way out in the road? Seriously, you think some piece of that guy made it into the glove box? Man, I don't know. Huh? Man, I'm really not seeing anything. Is that the mirror from the car? Can't tell from here. Get out from here! It's part of a shirt, I think. Yeah, but plenty of dead guys have shirts on. Keep looking. Why are you not driving? Look, Wyatt, it was a guy. Are you sure? Yes. How sure? Pretty fucking sure. Don't pay for sex drunk, sure. Jesus. So what do we do? What do you mean, what do we do? We go out there. What about the guys in the truck? Man, fuck those guys! If that guy back there is alive, we have to help him, Wyatt. There ain't a lot of live dudes left these days. What if this guy is like the guys in the truck? He ain't gonna be much of a threat after we bounced him off the hood. Come on, man. This is stupid. We go out there, we check it out, we get moving. <sighs> Fine. I'll go. Give me the gun. Dude, I'm the one who got us into this. I'm the one who hit him. Should be me going. But why did you ask which one of us should go? Oh, sorry. Next time I get into this exact crazy fucking situation, I'll figure out how I feel before I talk. Work, paper, scissors? Okay. Well. Shit, okay. Oh my god! <laughs> Here, we'll rock, paper, scissors. Go. No way, we're actually gonna do it. Yeah, sure. Fine. Okay, cool. Good. This is good. 
We need to hurry up. This is so Ready? stupid. <laughs> Man, I can't believe I'm doing this shit. Dude, two seconds, it's over. Go with Rock. Alright, two out of three, right? Sure. Sure. One, two, three, go. Fuck! Man. Okay. Alright. One, two, three, go. Fuck! What are the chances of that? Okay. One, two, three, go. <laughs> Shit, man. <laughs> Insane. Okay. Again. One, two, three, go. Oh, paper. Should have known you'd pick paper. All right, dude. This is it. Shit. One, two, three, go. Fuck. Damn, man. Killed those scissors. Son of a bitch. All right. I got this. Be careful, dude. That's a shoe. Oh god, all these noises. Man, it'd be easy as shit to get lost out there. You gotta hurry up, dude! Shoot. Can tell if a blonde or a guy or not. I can't look at things. I really need to just hurry up. Oh god. Come on, Wyatt. Don't die. Since he's gone from here, uh, yeah, he's 100% either a walker who stood up, or he's someone who's now a walker. There's a blood trail. Oh, there's a body! Oh, shit, that's a fuck ton of blood. I saw a body right there. Yeah. Hey man, you okay? Fella? You need to answer me, man. If you're a dude, I don't want to shoot you. Please just say something, mister. Not sure if you're deaf, dead, or just an asshole, man. Shoot him. We're just gonna go all the way around here. So he can't grab our leg. Man, I wish I was high right now. <laughs> Same. Why can't I just go around? What the hell? Bruh. Oh, shit. Oh, Are fuck. Are you okay? Uh, sir? Can you, can you hear me? Man, this guy's a cop. Cop, please be okay. He's, he's the one who got out of the bus. Jeez. Possibly? This is bad. Isn't that that dude? It's five episodes ago, I can't remember. Okay, uh... Uh-oh. Yeah, there's definitely a lot more coming. I'm sorry, he's... He's so hurt sorry, already. Sorry, dude. Got a split. <sighs> I hear them, but I don't see them. There they are. Phew! Where are you? Phew! Run! Start running! Start running! I need to save my friend! God, we are so slow! 
Oh god, that's a truck. Oh no. Penny! Come help me, man! Get in, get behind cover, or something. Oh god, I'm sorry Wyatt, but... This looks like it's the end. And that does sound like the same truck dude from the last episode. Fuck. Abandoned, completed Wyatt's chapter. Oh, who are we? 400 days in. We were right. There are survivors out here. Still alive? Oh, they're gonna be happy to get rescued. So how many are we talking about? Around five, I think. They left a note, so at least we know they want to be found. And I can see smoke in the distance. Probably a camp. I'm gonna try to make contact tonight. Great. Well, just be careful and use your best judgment. Of course. Oh God. Holy shit. Good job. Everything okay? So far so good. I'm gonna try to talk to him. Are we now gonna see all of Wish the people that, that yeah, we tried to... Be careful. Don't try to force them into anything. Just get as many of them as you can. You got it. Hey! Don't you... Bit. Don't fucking... It's everyone! Move. Who the fuck are you? My name Vince? is Tavia. Russell? Bunny? How did you find us? Riot? I found your note. I'm a scout for a growing settlement up north. We go out and look for survivors to rescue them. We have food, clean water, and shelter for everyone. We're offering you a chance to help us out and start over. And the kid! God, this sounds too good to be true, but I think it is. Bonnie, get real. Just because you have to tell the truth all the time doesn't mean everyone else does. If I didn't trust people, I'd be dead. I know that for sure. People can care about you if you let them. Like Leland cared when he let you run off alone? That's enough, Becca. I heard rumors about these places. This guy I was traveling with ditched me trying to find one in his own. He thought... You know what? Let's do this. She looks well fed, right? And clean? We could all use a meal and a hot shower. Hold up. We don't know what kind of people we're dealing with. I don't want to get stuck with some crazy asshole like Russell did. I walked away from that shit, Wyatt. And that dude was crazy from Jump Street. Look, we need people. Plain and simple. You folks can decide if you want to come as a group, or split up, or whatever. But I don't want to be out here in the open after dark. So in a few minutes, I'm going to be getting back in my car and on my way. Hopefully, at least some of you will follow me. Well, I'm going. Maybe we should go too, sis. If Roman is still looking for us, he wouldn't be able to do anything to us there. There's no way that guy is still looking for you. We've been to that truck stop. There's no one left. Roman's not a problem. It's following her that'll get you killed. Look, I know it's a risk, but what else is there? If you guys are going, then so are we. I don't like this, guys. We should just walk away. I don't trust her. Of course you don't, Russell. You don't trust anyone. What will it take to convince you? I don't know. Russell, come on. Guys, trust me. We need to get to this place. Well, it could be a trap. What if they want to kill us? Thank you. Everyone out there is batshit crazy. We've all seen it. Well, we turned out all right, didn't we? Relatively speaking. You clearly outnumber me. If you wanted to overpower me, you could. Hell, I'll even go along as your hostage until you feel safe. No one is gonna hurt you. That's not a bad idea, actually. And I'll do it. Because I know when you guys see this place, you'll change your minds. 
Look, I know you guys are wary, and you have every right to be. You don't know me from a hole in the ground. And yeah, there are some crazy fuckers out there. All I'm here to do is make an offer. You can come with me, or you can stay here. The choice is yours. So, who wants to come with me? Yeah, I'm going. I'm... I'm just not sure. We've been out here for so long and seen so much bullshit. I mean, is it really worth getting our hopes up? Of course it is, Russell. Hope is all we've got left. But being smart, that's what's keeping us alive. Some of you may have been separated from friends or family. It's a long shot, but there's a chance you could find them there. Have your people been through Statesboro? Yes, I think we have. Okay, but I swear to God, if you try anything, you're gonna regret it. Yeah, and if you're not lying, maybe... Maybe Eddie will be there. We'll do everything we can to help you find your friends and family. And understand that I can't promise anything. We understand. I think we've all made up our minds. Well, I guess we have our group. What do you want to do with these? This is a good thing. I know it is. How do we know this will work out? I give you my word. Loose ends completed the epilogue. So there it is. That is the end of The Walking Dead 400 Days. And of course, the statistics, as always. Only 30% of people actually shot Danny's foot off. Most people went with Justin's foot. The. Oh! The staying in the car or getting out. Who is that? That is... Oh, that was Wyatt. 50% got out of the car. So the, <laughs> the rock, paper, scissors literally was 50%. Oh, I wonder... I, I genuinely wonder if any of the survivors could have died in those episodes which made them not be in that last part. Like, is there anything that could have happened that would have... Like, if we stayed with the group instead of leaving in the RV, do you think we... We would still be with Roman and that group, and we wouldn't have ended up in that survivor camp? Oh, I have no idea. So, 75% of people left Nate, 25% stayed with him, and he was fucking batshit crazy. I knew that from the beginning, I thought maybe he's a good guy and he's just a bit... ...special, eccentric, bit of an asshole, but... 25% of people were honest, the rest were all... The rest all lied to Leland. Huh. Oh, wow. Okay, it's not often that we are in the minority of people. We're usually in the majority because... Uh, but, damn. And 75% of players left the NRV, so 25% of players actually thought that... Getting Stephanie would have been safer. Well, shit. Well, there you have it. The Walking Dead 400 Days with some very interesting stories and knowing that Bree died and Vernon died as well fuck you Vernon bastard stealing our fucking thing fuck you Vernon I mean you don't deserve death but you did get Kenny killed so fuck you well I hope to see you next time if you have if you're still here please like subscribe all that stuff
And I'm hoping to start the second season, second game of The Walking Dead soon. How soon? I don't know. My upload schedule's usually shit, but yeah. Take care. And thank you. Oh! You can actually see who left and who stayed at the camp. I wonder if this is going to have any consequences for the second or third game. If, if that save data actually gets used later on. So everyone left and no one stayed at the camp alone. Oh.